everybody, Tanya here, and I'm out with one of our local swamps here in Southwest Florida. Now, a swamp is considered a wetland. Wetlands are just an environment that is covered in water either part of the year or the entire year. As you can see, I am standing in water. It is the rainy season here in Florida, uh, so there is a lot of rainfall covering this swampy area. Now, our wetlands are an important ecosystem here in Southwest Florida, and we rely on them for a lot of animals. I've actually already spotted a couple of different birds, uh, hawks, owls, alligators, turtles, snakes, fish, all important animals that rely on this ecosystem here in South Florida. Now, an ecosystem is just defined as the community of plants and animals and their interactions within one environment. Wetlands are one of the most productive ecosystems in the entire world compared to coral reefs and rainforests. Lots of species depend on the health of these ecosystems. Wetlands like this one act as sponges, absorbing any extra water from the surface, the ground, rainwater, flooding from storms, and are important in dry season as well because it retains any of that water and will slowly release it over the dry season, sustaining this whole area and many of the animals that live within it. This wetland is located in an urban area, which is especially important because all of that runoff coming from roads, buildings, sidewalks comes right into here and is absorbed. Wetlands also act as nature's kidneys, so they filter out any of those impurities or pollution that us humans might produce. As water is filtered through a wetland like this, it then moves to a river, canal, then into a bay or estuary, and eventually into the ocean, in our case, the Gulf of Mexico. So having this purification system is extremely important when it comes to the health of our waterways and our watershed here in Southwest Florida. Thanks for joining me in the swamp today. And if you're in your own wetland, explore the habitat, mark all of the species of animals and plants that you find, and definitely share them with us.